the fabulous show that is currently at Shays right now. It has really set the stage on fire. It's, it's almost even difficult to get a ticket. It is Billy Joel's moving out. And we're thrilled because Darren Holden is with us, and he's the guy who plays lead vocals and piano man. And uh, you came right from the Broadway production, Darren. Hello. Yes, I did, Linda. How Enjoying pleasure. it. Nice to meet you. So how so you've been with us since it was on Broadway. So how long I've does that make I've been on Broadway it? for the last 6 months wow. and uh, we just opened this show in Detroit 3 weeks ago. It's our second stop and we're so happy that it was Buffalo because the reaction from the audience last night was just incredible and it's given us such a boost to you know go that extra mile with it. Is this show much different from exactly how it was on Broadway? The only difference um, would be that the the band, you know where the band are suspended above the stage in Broadway it moves down and uh -huh. comes back and forth. But that was such a huge undertaking to try and do on the road that we just, we've got to keep it in the one place. Wow. But other than that, it's, it's uh, in many ways, it's better visually mm -hmm. than in New York. But you're from Ireland, though. and I, I'm I from detect, yeah. yeah, I detect yeah. the accent as you speak, but obviously it disappears when you're doing a New Yorker Yeah. Singing. Well, there's a story there. Um, when I did my first show in New York, I was, the Irish accent was coming out. So uh, Billy Joel himself actually asked me to kind of get into character and be a Long Island guy. <laughs> um, so th the producers of the show actually got me to start watching The Sopranos. Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and then I became addicted to The Sopranos. So. Can you do a little of that? Well, not really right now. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you, once you start speaking that way, it's a tough accent to lose. It anybody really is. Tell it really you. is because I, even now I'm talking to some people on the street or whatever, and it kind of gets in there, and yeah. I'm like, God, I'm not on stage right now. Yeah, you know, exactly. Got to watch it. You know what, uh, Chad, you were saying, too, the first question you asked Darren, which is a good question, was about actually yeah. meeting Billy Joel. Yeah, it's about meeting Billy Joel, and does he ever do the show himself? Yeah, um, there was a couple of times in New York um, that uh, I had just taken my bow and uh, sat down to do New York State of Mind, which is sort of our playoff. And uh, there was one night in particular, the crowd just went crazy, crazy altogether. And um, I, I didn't know what was going on, but the dancers were going, you know, and he was sitting right behind me. You know, oh my God! Uh, he walked on stage. I mean, stage? people, you know, people are, you know, they're not expecting to see no. that. So they, they just, it was like a rock concert. It really well, wasn't. So what did he do? Did he? Well, I just got up and said, "Look, you better take this. This is your, this is your wow. signature tune. I'm not going to play this, you know." But then, I mean, for an extra 15 minutes, he may do stuff like "You May Be Right" oh. and. Uh, my life stuff that's not in the show. Wow! So people are getting you know more than they bargained for. Absolutely, and you guys just go with it. Absolutely, yeah. Wow! He's he's a, he's such a great guy. Yeah. I have to say. It, it, apparently he is. When you hear people talk about him, yeah. You know, I remember <laughs> I remember Billy Joel coming to my college. I went to Brockport, which is a, a Buffalo school, right. not too far away, and he used to come and play our college oh, wow. when I was there. Wow! So he he was the kind of guy who would party with everybody afterwards. He really remembers his roots. He's just he a New certainly York does. Boy, yeah. He certainly know? does. So now, but you have an interesting background because you actually started out in river dance. So you're a dancer as well. Yeah. Well, no, I never danced no? in river dance. I was the lead vocalist, oh. and uh, I was actually here in Buffalo in May of last year with river dance. So we were really like uh, delighted to hear that uh, Buffalo was on this tour again because we had such a great time last time. Great theater, isn't yeah. it? Shays is, is one of the best I've ever been in. That's fabulous. And uh, everybody that works there, you know, Albert, Tony, everybody is so great. We should let everybody know, too, that um, when, you're, when you're watching Moving Out, there's a story, right, that connects all the songs. Yeah, well, the story is set around five, five friends from Hicksville, Long Island, and it sort of traces their, um, their story from the mid-60s, you know, the high school days, happy-go-lucky days, falling in and out of love, that kind of thing. And, you know, they've all got to, you know, move out of high school and get their life together and... Some of the guys go off to Vietnam, some don't come back, and it's basically the struggle afterwards from Vietnam and, you know, through the drug period of the 70s and basically trying to get their lives together and finding their way back home. Wow. Chad, what was your favorite part? Uh, you know, and like he said, the ending of it was amazing. Um, and I also think, too, um, the Captain Jack song. Right. Yeah, kinda, I love that. It shows yeah. just the characters within there. But the whole thing, just the way it all comes together just by the songs, it's really amazing, and it's something completely different than any other show out there. I is this one of those things where the audience starts singing along? I mean, we all grew up with these songs. There are some times, there are some times when you do hear the audience singing along. You know, certain, yeah. certain nights people are really getting into it. You know? mm -hmm. oh, that's I saw fabulous. a lot of people tapping their feet and tapping the, you know, the playbill. Yeah. I think that everybody yeah. knew the song. It's such a baby boomer show. This is right. You know? know? Everybody sits back and goes, hmm, I remember when I first heard that, you know. <laughs> so where do you go after this? We go to Hartford, Connecticut um, next week uh, to the Bushnell Theater there. And then we do six weeks in Boston. Wow. Oh, wow. Which is great. That's a long time. 
So it'll be there for Patty's Day. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, you love that. Absolutely. Yeah, they got quite a tradition there too. Oh. Well, this is thrilled. The musical is moving out. Uh, try and get a ticket, everybody, while they're here, because let me tell you, they are more rare than hen's teeth, and for a very good reason. Uh, you deserve four stars. Thank fabulous, you very much. It's great to get it. Thank you. Shea's Performing Arts Center. Tickets for all shows. Give them a call at 852-5000 or go to www.shays.org. And, and Chad, you didn't tell us if you brought a date to that show last night. My time. sister's. Yes, I okay. My two sisters. Did so. the safe thing. Had a, yes, be discreet about everything. Well, I love your sisters. <laughs> and they you actually took me, so I oh, they them. Oh, my. Yes, it was a birthday present for my sister. <laughs> okay. All right. More to be heard here. Don't go away. All right, Darren, good luck. And Thank congratulations. You very much. All right, Darren holding everybody. Go and see him. There he is on stage from the musical Moving Out. We'll be right back. Out of the back of the sack.